shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on, guys? This your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another Need for Speed Heat video. Today I am just dropping my Pagani build. I was gonna drop this build a while ago, but I just never got around to the car. I was using the RSRs and the F40s and the Evo 9s and all those type of different cars, but I finally got around to the Pagani. People were talking about the Pagani, and I'm glad I built it the way that I did. Maybe you can build it faster with a better engine or something like that. I don't know the true most powerful setup. Maybe there is a better setup than what I have, but right now, my Pagani is fast all right it is really fast it's dope it's amazing on the handling i'm gonna just break down to what i have in this car for you guys so you guys can you know mess around with the build or however you want to do it but without further ado let's get into it all right so if i go to my garage and go to performance you guys see the engine that i actually have in here is the 4.6 liter v8 hybrid um I'm pretty sure it came with a V12 in it, if I'm not mistaken. And I think you can put other engines in here, like a V12 or something like that, a stronger V12 or something. But I just went with the uh, V8 hybrid, which give me um, um, the potential of 1229 horsepower. Then I have 1200 horsepower as my current horsepower. My zero to 60 is 2.27. My max torque is 784 and my top speed is 233. Like I said, you probably can't get this car faster than what it is. I am not like the car wizard or whatever, so I don't go a lot into uh -uh, knowing all of the engines and what they're able to do and stuff like that. But all of my stuff is Ultimate Plus parts and Ultimate parts. So I have an Ultimate Plus uh, crankshaft, Ultimate Plus ECU, Ultimate Plus cooling, Ultimate Plus exhaust, um, the ultimate dual turbo charger. You can go with other stuff if you want to, but like you can go with this one, but it takes away top speed. It adds zero to 60 and it adds more torque. If you want to do that, you can go with this one as well. For me, the sweet spot was the dual turbo. Um, you can go with the turbo as well, but I think the dual turbo is a little bit better uh, for this car. And then I have the five, uh, five times the three pound uh, tank of ultimate nitrous. And then also I have a track suspension, super track suspension, elite brakes, race tires. I don't do track tires anymore because track tires seem to be like really grippy sometimes for certain cars, but you can mess around with it. Track tires is not that bad. Me personally, I like the race tires now. And then I got an elite plus clutch, a seven speed in the car. Now I noticed something and I'm gonna show you guys with this car, maybe I have to change the gearbox, but I know when I go from second to third when i'm about to change from second to third it does like a stutter like a rpm stutter before it hits the next gear and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about so you can see maybe it's a way to fix it maybe i have to go with another shift uh seven speed or some maybe it's the engine i'm not sure what it is but somebody will be able to tell me um i had track differential uh like i said i had seven speed gearbox my passive is a uh, nitrous extra mix and i think this one is a refill all right um but i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about and then i'm gonna also go back to the garage to show you what kind of kits on here you see my boy crazy see him in the window with his little fitted on or whatever i don't know what he doing up in there but i don't know what he got going on but i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i'm talking about when it goes from second gear to third gear so let's see if we can get to a street real quick all right see that right there see how from first to second it was smooth but when it went from second to third it did a stutter it's like a, a stutter like it i don't know how, if it's a way to fix that you see that so if somebody can tell me if there's a way to fix that so it won't do that so it can be more smoother and i can you know get to my speeds faster that'd be cool but i don't know what's going on with that yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. It does a little, a really uh, bad stutter or whatever the case may be. But let's go ahead back to the garage. I'm going to show you guys what I have kitted up on this car. 
um and all the pieces like all the stuff the skin if you're on xbox i'm pretty sure playstation and pc have different skins like this or something like that but i just went with this skin because it looks like the um what's the name of that movie is that a disney movie or a pixar movie the movie cars or whatever it was i went with um i went with that i wanted that type of look for this pagani so like I said, you can do different engine swaps if you want to. You got the V8, the V10, another V8, 6.2 liter, uh, V12, uh, you get 6.5 liter on the V12, 6 liter on the V12, 7 liter on the V12. So you can use different, uh, what's some colors as well. Let me see what the, uh, the dual turbo charger look like. See the, do the turbo charger, it gives you more top speed, but you lose zero to 60 and you lose, um, uh, torque so you get more horsepower but you lose torque in zero to 60 and i don't want to lose none of that stuff because the torque is important the zero to 60 is important and you want to it's a decent amount of horsepower already so i wouldn't want to lose nothing like that all right so the customization that i have on here for the body um these right here i have the pagani stuff that's already come on the car the splitter is a carbon the front bumper is the pagani as well i changed the hood i know for sure the hood is a speed hunter it's got different type of hoods on here but i like the speed hunter a little bit better uh the windows are blackened out uh let's see what else we got up in here uh the headlights are blacking out speed hunter uh lights as well and then the front wheel i'm pretty sure these are i think the bbs if i'm not mistaken the rim no these are the uh 3s uh 3s dms the uh 3.0 3.01 fx2s i like these right here because they sink into the car and it kind of make them it just look better i think these are the best rims on the game because they're like deep dishes so they like push in but then the wheel poke out and all that stuff so i like these right here mostly on like all my cars like i mainly put these rims on all my cars they like chromed out black and then i got some blue uh chrome as well going around the wheel and stuff like that and then the body that i have on here for the side skirts is a speed hunter you also have a different type of trim now i don't see the difference between these trims i'm not sure maybe one look like it's like i don't know i don't see the difference between these trims to be honest so i just put that one and then um my uh wait my window basically my rear view or whatever you want to call it my side view i uh left as the pagani pagani because everything else in here is trash i like how this looks this make this look like real unique as well so i like how that look tail lights are blacking out you got speed hunter on those and then the diffuser is the pagani diffuser um the bumper is the pagani as well exhaust is the pagani and then the trunk lid is the alchemist i did the alchemist for the trunk lid my spoiler i will only either go with this spoiler right here or um that spoiler i like this spoiler as well but i wouldn't go with any of the other spoilers the sound system and that's really it with the car that's what i have um i'm gonna go back out real quick and just show you guys i should have did this before but I'm gonna just show you guys the uh, the live tuning that I have on the car. My downshift is pretty high. So I noticed if you have the downshift lower, you gain more uh, speed, like uh, speed and acceleration, I believe so. But it stiffens up the car. But the more you have it up, it actually makes the car be able to hit corners better, everything better, and it kind of slows down the speed. So you don't wanna go too crazy too too crazy on having the um on having it too low or too high you want to kind of find a sweet spot for yourself me my preference is i put it all the way up for this which i could put it down to be honest because i do kind of slide over the place a little bit so i can probably rock with it being right here or something like that but this is my live tune and my sensitivity is uh three notches away from the highest uh you guys just seen i put my down force down same way I hit it all the way up here. Being all the way up here is not bad neither, but I can kind of, I can kind of rock with it right here. That's fine like that. But that's really it about the car. Um, if you guys have any questions or any more knowledge on how I can make the the build better or the car better, what kind of engine I can use, just leave a comment down below. 
if you guys enjoy the content as always leave a thumbs up on the video if you're new to the channel hit that sub button notification button i have more content to bring for for you guys i'm glad i can be in this community with my boy craig g we're gonna tear this motherfucker down but it's your boy easy tv y'all have a blessed day and i'm out